Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for MgSO3 plus HI. This is magnesium sulfite plus hydroiodic acid. So the first thing we need to do with this net ionic equation, we need to balance the molecular equation. This up here is the molecular equation. I can see that I have just the one hydrogen here and I have two here. I have one iodine and I have two iodines here. So it looks like all I need to do if I put a two here, that balances the hydrogens, it balances the iodine. We have magnesium here, magnesium here, and it looks like everything else adds up. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So for magnesium sulfite, we're gonna write aqueous here. It's not super soluble, but some of it will dissolve. So let's go with aqueous here. Hydroiodic acid, that's a strong acid, that's aqueous. Then we have magnesium iodide, that'll be aqueous. Then we have gas here and a gas here as well. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that we don't split gases apart. And water, I have that as a gas. We don't split gases apart. Probably should be, though, a liquid. So let's change that to a liquid. So that's the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I look at the reactants, I see a magnesium ion, Mg2+, and again, in the products. Let's get rid of that. That's a spectator ion. Two iodide ions, one here, in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for MgSO3 plus HI. I'll clean it up and write the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. Charge is conserved, two plus, two times the one plus and the two minus, that adds up to zero, net charge of zero, and in the products, net charge of zero. The atoms, they're balanced as well. Most likely what's happening is this two H plus and the SO2 minus, that's likely forming H2SO3 three, but then that's decomposing. This is breaking down and that's giving these products up here. Either way, this is the complete balanced net ionic equation for magnesium sulfite plus hydroiodic acid. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.